Don't play with fire, be careful, son But we were flames and fell in love We burned the city down, down The fire went through the sun You won't be lonely if you fall in love Over and over again and then again my name is Naomi from Bunny and Fawn, and you're watching Boo and Fright Fest 2019. Boo and Fright Fest is what I'm deciding to name my Halloween series on my channel, where I'm going to be creating a bunch of costumes that I would love you to recreate. If you want to recreate this hot cheetah's princess look, make sure you tag me at Bunny and Fawn at Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, or TikTok, and use the hashtag Boo and Fright Fest, and I'll feature you on my Instagram stories. So if you guys want to find out how to create this hot cheetah princess just keep on watching okay starting off with our brows blocked off I like to start with the eyes because just in case there's fallout it doesn't go into my foundation so I'm starting out with my transition shade which is gonna be this hot orange color I just scraped it with my nail <laughs> that's why it looks like that I'm taking on a fluffy brush like this for this look you obviously don't need to have the exact colors that I'm using I just want to create like a hot colored eyeshadow look to go along with the hot cheetos theme okay now that that is buffed into the crease like this i'm gonna go into this shade with the james charles x morphe palette i'm just gonna take out a flat eyeshadow brush like this this actually looks like hot cheetos dust now that i'm looking at it just take a hot cheetos dust color and just pop it into the crease kind of raising the brow so it's easier to blend and i'm also going to put that along the lower lash line just like on the outer V of the eye. And if it looks kind of patchy, you can go in with a nice fluffy blending brush and just blend out the edges just to make it a lot more diffused. I truly should have plucked my eyebrows before this tutorial, but I didn't even think about that, so. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to my Master Camo Concealer from Maybelline. You can use any kind of orange concealer. I'm gonna use this concealer to cut out my crease on a flat concealer brush. I'm gonna go into this macaroni shade in the James Charles palette on a packer brush from e.l.f. I'm gonna stamp it to set that concealer down so it won't crease. Okay, I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm going to pick up the liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Goldilocks. It's just your regular gold liquid eyeshadow that's like really shimmery. And I'm going to just like cut my crease with it. I'm not cutting it all the way to the edge because I know that my big fat eyeliner wing is gonna be in that area. I'm gonna clean up my fallout situation with some micellar water. Now I'm cutting my crease with my favorite eyeliner ever, which is the Tartist Clay Paint from Tarte. <laughs> Duh! I'm using a flat eyeliner brush. And remember, it's Halloween, so make a nice big fat one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with my Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner from Maybelline to fix up the tail end and just deepen up the line. Last but not least, I'm using my Define Line from Maybelline to tight line my upper waterline because I hate the way that my waterline looks without an eyeliner. So I have something like that, and now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so both wings are on. Now I'm gonna do complexion. For primer today, I'm gonna use the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer. And this primer leaves a little bit of a white cast, which is kind of annoying, but it looks really pretty when it's on. I'm taking my earrings off because it's so much easier. So I'm just pressing this primer into the skin. This is the concoction I'm gonna use today. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir with the L'Oreal infallible shade 745 shade 465 and i'm just gonna mix them together just because i feel like i want to be luminous this is kind of like a luminous combination go ahead and use any foundation you want to because foundation doesn't really matter whatever foundation you feel the most comfortable with okay now i'm just gonna apply the foundation very carefully around my brows and everything else I'm going to conceal now. I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I really love this because it's so high coverage. I'm just going to conceal the normal parts of the face that I usually do. 
So I'm not going to conceal the under eyes because I'm going to actually put the flames on the under eye area. So that's why I just put the concealer everywhere except for my under eyes. I'm also mixing a little bit of Hello Halo. This is Wet n Wild's liquid highlighter. This is the shade Goddess Glow and it's so pretty. I love this stuff. I just like to mix it in with my foundation just for like an extra dewy luminous glow because it's Halloween and we're going to go all out. Okay, now I'm going to blend that concealer out. Okay, now my concealer is blended out. I'm going to go into my Honest Beauty Translucent Setting Powder. I lost the cap to it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. This has been my number one blurring powder. It's pretty drying, so if you have really dry skin, this might not be like perfect for you, but I'm just trying to just take down the shine of my skin and just set everything down. I'm also going to further set everything down with my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pore Pressed Powder. Okay, now my face is all set and I can kind of see where the look is going now. I feel a little bit more confident. This is like my second time filming this video and I'm just like, is this going to work out or is it not? Now I'm going to jump into my bronzing powder. So this is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Sunkissed. You can tell I really, really like it. Just stamp it in the air so I usually put the bronzer. Stamp and blend. Not contoured. Contoured. I like to like pinch my brush like this. I'm also gonna contour right under here. Let's chisel up that chin. When I get to like this part of the chin, I like to put my contour like on my face rather than below the chin to give the illusion of like a V-shaped chin. And also powdering it on the forehead. Okay, I'm gonna further deepen up my contour with this gray shade in my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm just tapping it in the deepest parts of the bronzer. Now I'm gonna go into the peachy shade and the banana shade. Just pick up as much as I can from those two shades and just like cut this contour right here. So I'm really gonna nod to the cheetah aspect of the Cheetos mascot. And I'm going to put some orange eyeshadow into like this area of the face. I'm picking up a contour brush like this. I'm gonna be using these two orange shades in my Sephora Pro editorial palette. I'm also gonna put some on the edge of my nose too. Okay, now that the situation is happening on my face, I'm gonna go into a nice gold highlighter, which is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Champagne. I'm just gonna highlight all the areas that I usually would. I am also stamping the highlight in the corners of my eyes right here and bringing it right under the brow bone like this. Now I'm gonna go into that orange shade that I used at the very beginning of this tutorial. And I'm gonna stamp it on the lower lash line. So I'm grabbing my Master Precise Eyeliner. Gently accentuate the lower lash line. I'm gonna go into my lash primer. I'm gonna add to the top and bottom lashes. And for mascara today, I'm using my Milani Highly Rated Mascara. This is the tester size. Okay, for top lashes, I'm gonna use these lashes from Zoe Sweet. They're on an Ardell thing, so it's not from Ardell. It's Zoe Sweet Lashes, and this is the style hashtag. So at this point, I've been sitting here eating hot Cheetos with one eyelash on for a little longer than I care to admit, but I also want to eat more, but I also feel really gross. Okay, so now that my lashes are on and now that I've eaten my weight in hot Cheetos, don't judge me, okay? I'm going to go into my Mehron Makeup Paradise Paints, and I'm going to pick up all the hot colors. So I'm using the red, the orange, and the yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these flames. Hopefully it'll work. I'm just activating these paints with water. I don't know if you can see that, but I just kind of mapped out where I want the flame right here with the orange because it's like the middle tone. Now I'm going to go into the red on the inside of the orange. I'm going to use a thinner brush like this. Wow, what do you guys think? 
kind of spot on, right? Okay, I'm sorry that it's like seeming like I'm not gonna be able to smile. With these water-based paints, I feel like if I smile, it might crack a little bit. So I'm just gonna like not smile as much. So now I'm gonna add my leopard spots in these orange areas. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Tartus clay paint. I'm gonna use the end of my Define Align eyeliner. It's like the smudge brush situation. I just think it'll be so much easier to just like stamp. I'm also going to do a little bit on the nose. Okay, now I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to accessorize, put on my wig, and put on my outfit, and then I'll come back and do the lip, and we got to make a crown. This wig is going to be linked down below. Let me be lazy, okay? I know that's like annoying and ugly that this lace is showing so much. My paintbrush has had ink all over them, so I'm covered in ink. This is just like kind of messy. I can't see what I look like. Are these cool? Is this like a concept? Okay. We're gonna move into the DIY portion of this tutorial. We're gonna make our crown, okay? Because what's a Hot Cheetos princess without a crown? So I'm gonna grab these pipe cleaners and I'm going to make a circle and the circle is going to fit around my head. I'm just going like this with the pipe cleaners to attach them, just like swirling and twisting. I'm just transitioning to a DIY channel. Oh my God. I'm gonna need three pipe cleaners now. So I kind of like that. There's gonna hide the lace. Now that I have this big circle, okay, so I'm gonna take another pipe cleaner. I'm going to attach it by spinning it around. And then I'm going to make a loop like this. I'm going to spin it around. And I fold it in half and spin it. And now look at that. So this is a real hot Cheeto. And this is what it looks like on the <laughs> pipe cleaner crown. It's nearly indistinguishable. So I'm just gonna go around and do that process over and over again until I have a good amount of jewels. You can go like this to make the process so much faster. Girl, I'm sorry that this is the most tedious part, but I swear it's like going to make your costume. Like everyone's gonna be your best friend at the party. What do you guys think? <laughs> look like the Statue of Liberty. The final thing is the lip. I'm first going to line my lips with the Milani True Instant Color Lip Liner in the shade Bordeaux. Next, I'm gonna take the Milani Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade 130 Self Starter. And then I'm gonna finish off by using the Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Make It Happen. Oh my god, we're twins, me and him. I am so obsessed with this look. I think it is so cute. I think it came out almost identical to the face chart that I did. So if you decide to recreate this look, please tag me at Bunny and Fawn on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok. I'm on every corner of the internet. So definitely tag me in your looks and use the hashtag boo and Right fast so I can see your looks on my Instagram and I'll feature you on my Instagram stories. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok at Bunny and Fawn right here. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.